I was over in Montreal for the Just For Last Festival very recently, and this comedian is absolute royalty over there. How's this? This is how big he is over there. He's got a bloody knighthood. He's got a knighthood. This is the first time he's been out here in Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, what a treat. Gad Elmaway! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. In case you guys don't know, I was in Montreal that summer. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here for the first time in Australia. I'm from France. Um, thank you. Um, I just moved to America. Perfect timing. Every time I say I'm from France over there, I don't know why they come up with random and weird comments. Oh, you're from France. Actually, last year, my cousin went to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> so I'm like, what a coincidence. <laughs> So happy to be here. I just started uh, to perform in English uh, recently, but I don't actually really speak English. I just memorize a uh, whole stand-up act. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> I just, it works fine, you know? You just, I, I tell jokes, you, you laugh, then I stop, and then I go on. It's the way it works, you know, and then... <laughs> The only thing I cannot do is talk to you guys, like improvise, you know, talk to the audience. Get it, like, I can't. Like many of my friends, I see Australian comedians, they talk to you and then, hey, and where are you from? And, and then they got a joke about your city. And I can't, I, I, I tried, I, I tried. Last night, a friend of mine took me to a comedy club here in Sydney. I said to a guy, where are you from? He said, Brisbane. I said, okay. <laughs> And then I said, wait a minute, Brisbane, actually last year, my cousin went to New Zealand. <laughs> English is hard, guys. It's a hard language. Not only that we need to know the words, as French speakers, we need to know where to put the emphasis <laughs> on the right syllable. My English teacher always tells me, you need to know where the stress is. I'm like, the stress is everywhere. <laughs> even in the word emphasis, I don't even know if you say emphasis or emphasis or emphasis, I don't know. <laughs> and every time you ask those English speakers, they, they, they tell you either way, because they don't know. <laughs> then I go either way or either way. <laughs> And they say, same difference. <laughs> That's confusing, guys. I like to live in the US. People are nice. When you come from Paris, France, there's a lot of attitude there. I was in a store in LA a few days ago. A young guy came up to me and said, hello and welcome. How are we doing tonight? My name is Jason. If you need anything, please feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to help. I was like, shit, Jason, this is too intense. I'm not ready for this kind of relationship, young man. But they love, you know, I'm not used to that. They love to work, they want to help you, they want to get involved. Americans, they want to make money, they have no problem with that. I've asked him for something, he was running at the store. <laughs> Jason was on fire, people tried to stop him. He was like, no, I'm helping this channel. <laughs> he went in the back, looked for the sweater, didn't find it. He came back, he was devastated, almost crying. <laughs> I said, it's okay, Jason. He was like, no, I'm so sorry, oh my God. It's okay, oh no, oh Lord, I need to call another store. Jason, stop but we don't need reinforcement right now. Come down. <laughs> and then he said, let me double check. I've never heard this one. In Paris, we don't even have single check. <laughs> then I said, Jason, calm down. I'm just browsing. <laughs> it's a new word I just learned in English. <laughs> browsing. You guys in English came up with words 
for everything, even to define doing nothing. <laughs> and of course, you're gonna be saying browsing. You cannot be honest. If this kind of guy asks you, can I help you? You're not gonna say, no, I'm just walking around and I'm gonna ruin all the work you've been doing since this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna unfold everything and get out of here. <laughs> I'm not giving you one dollar. <laughs> so you guys came up with browsing. <laughs> Learning so many different things right now as a European man. For example, I just learned this one in the US, date night. A date night, my best friend, he's American. He said, I'm taking my wife on a date night. I said, what is this? You go on a date with your wife? What's the point? <laughs> I mean, what, what can happen that night? It, even if it goes really well, what is the best case scenario, my friend? Are you gonna marry her again? <laughs> friends with benefits, what the hell is this? Friends with benefits, apparently it's when they're friends and they also can have sex and uh, in Paris we call them friends. <laughs> I was texting to a girl uh, recently and I said, let's go out for a drink. And she said to me, I'm down. <laughs> I'm new to this language. Uh, so I said, let's do it next week. I believe you're depressed. <laughs> she said, no, I'm down means I'm totally up. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you wanna go out? She said, I'm in. So I texted another girl. <laughs> and I said to this one, do you want to go out tonight? This one said to me, oh, would be dope. <laughs> I asked my friend, he's American, what does it mean? He said to me, it means she's too young. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting too old for this, guys. Social media, texting, emojis, boomerang video which is a very feminine thing. It's internet. I know, I know a lot of Australian girls on Instagram, boomerang video. I know, it's stupid. It's just, I don't get it. It's just, you don't know, should I make a video? Should I make a photo and ends up so bizarre? Always the same one with the dress. I know the one, yeah? With the dress, the boomerang video. Guys, it's so bizarre to be very famous in your own country and totally anonymous in another country. It's great, it feels good, you know? But it's bizarre, you know? I was in a club in LA um, the other day and I saw a girl and I gave her this little look that I've been doing in France for years and worked very good, you know? Like, hey, <laughs> don't need to talk right away, no problem. And you know, it's something else. You start over um, even for this, you know? I was in a club, saw the girl, I went like this. Uh, she covered her drink. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much. Merci, l'Australie